Hey guys, this is Brent with Western Equipment, and in this video, I'm gonna be showing you the major differences between the S-Series mowers, which includes the S100 and S200 series, versus the X300 series. Now, we get a lot of questions as to, should I move up from the S-Series to the X series. So hopefully after watching this video, we can clear up all those differences and help you make that decision. So if you'll stick with me here, we'll get started. So first major difference is gonna be here at the engines. Now, the S-Series is broken up into two different classes. You have the S-100s and the S-200s. Now on the S-100 specifically, you're going to have only a Briggs & Stratton option, but those engine sizes are gonna range from a single cylinder 17 and a half horsepower engine up to a v twin 24 horsepower engine. Now, as those move up in horsepower, they're gonna change in models in the Briggs & Stratton lineup. Now, once you move up into the S200s, you're going to have a Briggs & Stratton option, which is a 22 horsepower, and then also a 21 and a half horsepower Kawasaki option. But a couple of key differences in the S series is that with the 100 series specifically, you are gonna have the option for the easy change oil system on certain models. And now whenever you move to the S200 series, that grade of Briggs engine is actually going to increase. So in the 100 series, we're gonna be in the M model engines. And then once we move to the 200 series, we're moving to that cyclonic style engine. So it's gonna be a little bit of an increase in quality going from the 100 up to the 200 in the Briggs and Stratton engines. Now on the X300 series, this series is gonna be predominantly Kawasaki engines. You are gonna have one Briggs & Stratton option, which will be the Cyclonic engine, which will be that upgraded Briggs & Stratton from the S100 series. That'll only be on the X330. But once you get past that, we're moving to the Kawasaki engines. These are going to be FR series engines that range from anywhere from 21 and a half horsepower up to 23 horsepower. Now that Briggs and Stratton engine that's gonna be on the X330 is a 22 horsepower. So the big difference there is in the S series, they're predominantly Briggs and Stratton. And when you move to the X300 series, you're predominantly Kawasaki. Next major difference is gonna be at the transaxles. Now this is something that often gets overlooked and not talked about, but the transaxles are gonna be the actual driving force on these motors. These are the transmissions. So with both of these series of mowers, whether we're in the S series or X series, both of them are gonna be a hydrostatic drive, meaning that has that two pedal system to go either forward or backward. But there is a difference in the transaxles in which series you're at. So on the S series mowers, you're going to start with the TLT 200s, which are a more smaller residential type transaxle, and they'll move up as we get up all the way into the S240 to the K46 transaxles. Now these are gonna be a little better in quality, a little more heavy duty, a little more strength and durability. So with the S series, you're gonna have a top speed of five and a half mile an hour. Now when we move to the X300 series, these transaxles are gonna start with the K46s and move up to the K58. So as you move up in that series, move up into those upper X300s, you're gonna be able to gain that K58 transaxle, which is just gonna create a little more heavy duty transaxle, a little more grip, a little more torque, and also you're gonna raise that top speed to 6.2 mile an hour. Now the next major difference is one that is huge as this is where we're going to spend all of the time when we are on these mowers and that's going to be at the seat. Now in the S series mowers, you're gonna have a variety and a wide range of seats, starting all the way with an 11 inch back seat, all the way up to a 15, which we have here on this mower. Now these seats are going to be adjustable. They're gonna have that slide fore and aft, and they're also going to have the spring suspension on them. Now, whenever we move up to the X300 series, these seats are gonna start at a 15 inch high back and then move up 
to an 18 inch like the one we have here. Now, a couple of the things also that I'd point out is you are gonna move up in quality when you're going from this S series up to the X300 series. As you can see here, guys, we can see just how wide this cushion is. I can push down on it. This is a very nice seat with that high back. It's a great improvement to 2021 with the addition of this new seat. But once we move to the X300, we're gonna see just another increase in quality. We've got a thicker seat here here, more cut cushion. This seat is going to have a little more contour to hold you in. Once again, these seats are also going to have that slide to go fore and aft, and they will also have the spring suspension. But one thing that I would point out is that the spring suspension on the X300 seats is actually adjustable, where we can move these springs forward or backward to adjust that ride quality. Whereas on the S series mowers, they are going to be a solid mount suspension. So the next major difference guys is going to be another big one as like we said we're on these mowers we're using these controls all the time and that's going to be the difference in the operator stations so i'll point out a couple of different things here on each one starting here at the s series mower what we're looking at here is the operator station first thing i'd point out is we are going to have this single lever choke and throttle so our choke position is by pushing this all the way forward and then we can control our throttle now on the s series you are going to have the option depending on which model you're on on how you engage your blades some models are going to be a manual engagement here with this lever and then others will actually have that pop button switch somewhere here on the instrument panel now on the s series mowers you will have an hour meter with an electronic fuel gauge and that is a big plus, but there are some differences to the X300 series. Now on the X300 series, instead of having that single lever choke and throttle, you're going to have a independent choke here and an independent throttle lever. So that will be different from the S series mowers. We're also going to have a full display panel up here that this is gonna show not only things as our fuel gauge, but we'll also be able to see our RPMs here on the screen, our hours, and also our battery voltage and multiple service reminders. And on the X300 series, you will not have that option for the manual engage for your blades. Everything on these mowers will be a pop button there to turn the PTO on and another button to push it back in to turn it off. Now, one other difference to the operator stations is that on the S series mowers, your steering wheel here will be a solid mount meaning it does not have tilt. But once you move to the X300 series and you get into those upper models, you will have the ability to have that tilt as an option. Now here on the X354 specifically, this mower does not have tilt, but when you move up in that X300 series, you do gain that option. Our next major difference is gonna have to do with steering. Now, on the S series mowers, these are all going to be standard manual steering, meaning that they will not have a power steering option and they're only going to steer at the front. So they'll only have the two wheel steer. Now, once we move up into the X300 series, you're gonna have a couple of different options. For one, you're going to have four wheel steer like we have here on the X354. This is gonna just create a more zero turn like effect. So if you're not used to those zero turns and you wanna track style that has that feel you will have that option for a four wheel steer option and now also within that you will have the option to go to a power steering model that'll make it more like driving your vehicle so maybe if you're that person that has a little bit of a hard time with turning that steering wheel when you move to the x300 series you do have that power steering option so the next difference is one that is very important is this is something that we also will be using all the time and this is going to be the way in which we raise and lower our deck so on the s series mowers this is going to be a hand system this will be spring assisted making it easier but you're going to have a hand system here to raise and lower that deck simple as pulling it to the side and raising up to raise or down to lower now on the x300 series you're going to have two different options for the way you raise and lower your deck the first is going to be a pedal system change that height if we want to and we'll simply push in on our pedal and release our lever and then that'll lower down to our cutting height now as you move up in the x300 series you also have the option for a power lift so we'll still have the same system here to choose our height but then if we have the power lift 
This lever here will be an electronic raise and lower for the deck. Now let's talk about the differences in the decks on these two different series of mowers. Now on the S series, starting with the S100s, you will have the edge deck system. Now the gauge on these decks is going to range from 13 to 11, and the sizes are going to range from 42 to 54. Now, once we move up to the S200 series, these will move to the XL deep decks, and those gauge ranges are gonna range from 12 to 10, and the sizes will be between 42 to 48. Now, once we move to the X300 series, we're going to have strictly XL deep decks here. So they will be the same quality as the S200s, but you will not have the option on the X300 for that edge style deck as it's a little more residential version um, deck for this more residential class of mower. So on the X300s, you will have the XL deep decks. They will range from 42 to 54 inch. But one thing that's special about the X300 series is that in this series, you will have the option on one of the models of mowers for a rear discharge deck as well. So our next major difference has to do with fuel. So let's talk about where our fuel openings are located how large they are and on also the fuel capacities of these machines. So on the S series machines, your fuel opening is gonna be located underneath the seat. It will have this nice tethered lid to it and it'll have a one and three quarter inch opening and a 2.4 gallon capacity. Now, when we move up to the X300 series, our opening is now out from underneath the seat over here on the side of the fender once again, it'll have that nice tethered lid to it so that you're not going to lose that. But we move up to this three inch opening, making it a little easier to get fuel cans and different things in this machine. And then we also move up in fuel capacity to 3.3 gallons. Now the next major difference guys is probably going to be the most noticeable and it's just gonna be the overall size difference in these mowers. Now, as we said, moving from the S series up to the X series is an upgrade. So you would expect such things as upgrade in frame strength, size, so on and so forth. And that you do see whenever you move up to these classes of mowers. Now, the notable differences are going to be in the weights. So in the S series mowers, you're gonna start at 414 pounds and then move up to a top weight of 526 pounds, which will be the machines with the 54 inch deck. Now, when we move to the X300 series, your starting weight is going to be 542 and your top weight is 686. So that alone shows that there is a huge difference in the frame size, in the size of the engines, and just in the overall size of these machines, which is a huge difference when we're moving up from the one from the S series mowers to the X300s. So guys, I hope this video helped you out. I hope this helped make some of those questions a little more clear, cleared up some of those things that you needed to know to make that decision, whether to move from the S series to the X series. And guys, also, I hope you liked this video. If you did, we just ask you to hit that like button and give us a subscribe as that helps us out as well. And also guys, we are gonna be one of the best places online to buy your John Deere parts. So if you're looking for any of those, I'm gonna leave a link in the description below where you can go to get those and as always guys thanks for watching we'll see you next time hey guys this is brent with western equipment why do i keep doing that knee thing all right here we go versus the x300 series now these two mowers our next major difference is going to have to be oh gosh now our next major difference is going to have, and we will have, we will also have, goodness gracious. Hey guys, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and go buy your parts at west-equip.com slash parts.